Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks to the team over at the Icon Store, we're going to be taking a look at the DNA Design DK26 Gear Master Accessory Set for the Movie Masterpiece Barricade and MPM Starscream. Now for those of you looking to add this or any of the other DNA Design upgrade sets to your collection, I will of course be sure to include a link down in the description box below as well as along with a discount code of which you can use across the entire site. Now this DK26 is actually a set that personally I've been really looking forward to. Not only is this an upgrade set for some actual movie masterpiece figures but it comes with a character of which up until this point we haven't seen an official release of since I would say 2010 that being movie 2007 Frenzy. Now we'll very quickly take a look here at the box art you can see a really cool image of DNA Designs Frenzy and as we just spin our attention here to the back it showcases some product shots there of Frenzy as well as some of the all new arm attachments for the movie masterpiece Starscream finally fixing the issue of him not being able to swivel at the bicep. So with all that being said let's unbox this and see what awaits us inside. So starting off firstly we'll begin by taking a look at some of the upgrade components for our movie masterpiece Starscream and essentially it's just a new pair of interchangeable forearms of which have actually been detailed and sculpted really nicely if anything slightly better than the offering that we saw from Hasbro and Takara but upon first glance you wouldn't be mistaken for actually believing them to be basically exactly the same. So what is the major difference? Well for those of you who own this figure you know that he truly lacked in one major point of articulation and that was where the biceps were concerned. Considering there was no proper bicep rotation, it really restricted you in getting Starscream into some of those more scheming poses that we pretty much see throughout the entire trilogy of Michael Bay movies, whereas these new pieces appear to in fact actually fix that. Now in order to demonstrate how this is going to work, basically you can see here on the original version we merely just got a rotation as well as a ratchet joint up and down, and whilst you're still going to get that same range of motion out of this new piece, DNA Design have actually incorporated an almost elbow hinge joint which I really think is going to make all of the difference in helping to bring those arms closer together so that you can actually get those fingers touching each other which is going to be really really cool. Now in order to swap these out it appears to be fairly straightforward you can see we've got two screws here on the underside of the forearm and basically you're just going to want to take a screwdriver to that and unscrew those to start off with. You'll then want to pop these two panels apart from one another and basically the only scraps that you're going to want to take over from the original arm would be Starscream's hand. Now bringing in our new upgrade component, you are to also going to want to split this here at this seam. So just hinge this section up, take our Starscream hand and just wedge that in there where the mushroom joint is concerned. And now for this section, it is basically just going to want to swivel over the top just like that until it snaps into place. Now I guess in theory you could already use the silver screws that came with the figure however DNA Design have packaged in a pair of brand new screws of which personally I'm going to use for the purposes of this review so basically apply two of these to these circular sections that we've got on the underside, tighten them up and we'll see what the finished result is. And there is one of our brand new upgrade components fully installed on Starscream. Now I will in fact actually repeat the same process off camera in just a second, but just for a comparison to show you guys the differences, not only do we now see of course that rotation as well as the ratchet joint up and down, but we also do get a hinge joint here which really allows you to now bring these arms closer into the body. For demonstration purposes, for this arm it was merely just up and down and of course rotation. There was no way to in fact actually bend these, so without a doubt this is a vast improvement improvement over what we saw stock on the figure. I'll very quickly install the new forearm on this side and then show you guys how you can in fact actually get those fingers touching.
And with all that being said, here we have both of the brand new forearms actually implemented into this figure. And honestly, much like I predicted before I went ahead and installed them, this is awesome. You can now see that that literally fixes one of the major issues that I had with this original figure. That being that you can now finally actually get the fingers touching and closer together. I have no idea as to why Hasbro, for a masterpiece figure, found it necessary to sacrifice the utilization of a bicep joint on a character such as Starscream, who, let's be real, was very emotive in the movie. Movie, so you can now definitely recreate some of those scenes. I wish to serve you, Lord Megatron, but humans have taken it, which I actually think is really cool. So props to DNA Design, they most certainly have upgraded our masterpiece, Starscream. And then we turn to what is undeniably the highlight out of this entire set, that finally being the inclusion of a proper in-scale version of Masterpiece Frenzy. Honestly, I have no idea as to why Hasbro as of late have been so reluctant to make him Frenzy figures, as he was a character of which was absent from the movie Masterpiece Barricade, and even than the studio series offering. Now bring this guy in here for a closer look. You can see the detail actually isn't too bad at all. Now granted, they have actually gone the extra mile to make this guy transform into the blaster that Barricade used in Dark of the Moon, which I think is just genius. So there will be some slight inaccuracies when in comparison to the 2007 model, but for the most part, I think they've done a smashing job. You can see here for the head sculpt, we've got those metallic blue eyes applied on the side. That face sculpt looks awesome in particular, would be the mandibles, very accurate to the movie. Of course, we do get these spikes jutting out from the back which isn't accurate but believe me it's definitely worth it especially when we get him transformed up into that gun mode and you can see we've got the spikes here coming out of the elbow some really cool claws for the hands and overall i think the body proportions are pretty spot on to what we saw in the movie and the articulation is actually surprisingly pretty good so here at the head we do get a hinge as well as a ball joint which really does allow for a fantastic range of motion so you can have him looking left to right up as well as down so that is really nicely done and you can also compress this joint if you wished, or fully extend it here for robot mode. The arms are on ball joints, so can hinge all the way around, as well as butterfly joints due to transformation. We do get a hinge joint here at the elbow, as well as a rotation here at the waist. There is two, also a rotation. The legs can kick forwards that far, back to that far. He can bend at the knee. Ball joints here for the side of where I presume the upper knee would be due to transformation. And finally for the foot, the actual feet themselves are on ball joints, which does allow for a fantastic range. So overall, I'm very, very impressed with how this little guy turned out. And for some size comparisons, here we have him alongside the Masterpiece Barricade. So I actually don't think bad scale by any stretch of the imagination. This was more or less kind of what we saw in the movie. Sadly, it can't in fact actually compress and fit within the chest of Barricade, but that would have been asking way too much of DNA design, especially considering that I believe the chest on Masterpiece Barricade is fixed into place. And for a more mainline comparison, here we have the DNA design Frenzy compared next to the Studio Series Clunker Bumblebee. So definitely out of scale when in comparison to the mainline figures, but I think certainly in scale where you bring in the Masterpiece figures. Now, as mentioned beforehand, this isn't just a basic Frenzy figure. This guy can actually transform into the blaster that we saw Barricade use in Dark of the Moon. So in order to get to point B, basically, you're just going to want to compress the head just like so. We can then come here to the arms, rotate upwards, and repeat the same process. And you'll notice how we've got these tiny tabs that will peg into these slots. Now, granted, you can see sadly for this side, it has become ever so slightly stressed. I'm not entirely sure whether or not that was a molding defect on my copy, as this tab, for some reason, is a little more tighter to get in when in comparison to this one. And you can see there are no stress marks evident on this at all. So I guess it's just one of those things. Definitely be cautious when in fact actually transforming him. But even if they were to break, it wouldn't in fact actually jeopardize anything to the point where the figure would be unusable. So let's just snap that section there into place and then here with the bicep you're going to want to rotate this inwards and you'll notice how the claw will in fact actually slide into a hollow cavity that we've got cut out here within the torso so come to this side and repeat the same process so just tab that section there into place rotate here at the bicep and then the actual claw will slide within the torso. We'll then take the waist joint, rotate it so that the front is now facing the back. And then you'll want to attach the heel spurs. And here for the thighs, you'll also want to connect those together. Now in regards to the feet, you're going to want to rotate those so that they're facing inwards. And then in regard to the rotation here of the thighs, you can see that these two sections will in fact actually slide into a slot here at the top. So ensure that those there 
are snapped into place. We can then take the handle. This is on its own separate hinge joint, so this will ratchet all the way forward. If these do pop off, they are very easy to reattach. And then just slide these sections here all the way down. And you'll notice how we've got some slots on the inside of the feet that will in fact actually peg here into these tabs along the side. So just hinge that around, snap that into place. And I really like how the almost toe sections or frenzy do become the tubing here of the cannon. That's a really nice touch by DNA Design. And of course, repeat the exact same process here for this side. Just snap that section into place, hinge the handle down, and there you have Frenzy fully transformed up into a really awesome Dark the Moon-esque blaster for Barricade to wield. And let's be real, this is actually fairly faithful to how these appeared in Dark the Moon. And up until this point, I don't in fact actually think we've ever seen a plastic version of the cannon that Barricade used to almost take down Q slash Wheeljack with in Dark the Moon. You can see how all of the tubing from robot mode does carry over to actually attach onto the handle of the blaster, of which I actually think has been done really nicely. The head does become the main barrel, so we've got some nice metallic blue in there. And I like how these claws do in fact actually form the front section. Overall, it's very barbaric in design and perfectly fit the Bayverse Decepticons. Now, in regards to actually implementing it into Barricade's hand, basically, you'll just want to open up the fingers and you'll notice how we've got some cutouts here. Effectively, the thumb does grip onto this. So as we just push that in there, that will grip in there really securely. And considering the hands were never initially intended to hold anything, I think DNA Design have done a smashing job. The grip is actually really well done. And you can see there, it is not going anywhere. Even with shaking the figure, it is a very, very tight grip. I'll zoom the camera out so that you guys can get a better perspective. But there you have Masterpiece Barricade, wielding Frenzy as a Dark the Moon cannon. Really, really nicely done in my opinion. I'm not entirely convinced how Display Frenzy, whether that be in the cannon mode or the robot mode, as I think both of them are just as good as one another. And so, some final thoughts for the DNA Design DK26 upgrade set for the Transformers Movie Masterpiece Barricade and Starscream. Overall, I think it's a great upgrade set. In regards to some of the more recent offerings that DNA Design have put out, I think this is by far one of their best. This is a really, really nice kit. It drastically improves the articulation for Movie Masterpiece Starscream, making that figure, I would say, near enough perfect. That really was one of the major areas of critique I had when I originally reviewed that figure, was that you were unable to really bring those arms closer into the body to create for some of those more scheming, menacing poses that the character was honestly renowned for pulling off throughout his entire duration in the Michael Bay Transformers movie series. In regards to Barricade, I think it's awesome that not only we finally have an actual Frenzy of which is in scale and is just as detailed as the Masterpiece offerings, but a Frenzy of which can in fact actually transform into a weapon of which is more than genius. The fact that it can not only act as an accessory for Movie 1 Barricade, but can indeed actually pull off a Movie 3 look that in the form of the Execution Blaster, I think is genius and it actually looks really accurate in both modes. Frenzy in robot mode has great detail, really cool articulation, by far the best Frenzy figure that at least I've seen that can transform in recent years. And in regards to the actual cannon mode, for what we very briefly see of it in Dark of the Moon, I think that it once again does a fantastic job in resembling what it should do, that being this almost quadruple spiked alien Cybertronian cannon that literally murdered so many Autobots in Transformers 3. So with all that being said, I think this is a great upgrade set for those of you who own both of these figures. In particular, where Starscream is concerned, I really do think it drastically upgrades the actual enjoyability of the figure. And for those of you who finally want to add Frenzy to the collection, I once again think his inclusion for Barricade 2 is really nicely done. So with all that being said, for those of you looking to add this set to the collection, I will of course pack a link down in the description box below where you guys will be taken to the Icon store and and be sure to use the discount code that should also be put down in the description. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this set. Will you guys be adding this to the collection? And as always, please feel free to let me know your thoughts on both the set as well as the review. And until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.